Okay, so here we go. This is um, General College Chemistry 1 with lab. So this is what I would call General Chemistry 1 for, for short. Uh, the introduction here says that my name is Mr. Dion. I'll be your instructor for this spring. Normally, this class is taught face-to-face. -face. I've taught it for years as a face-to-face class, but of course, since last March, PPCC has been uh, um, uh, delivering their courses remotely on account of the COVID-19 pandemic, and this semester um, is no exception. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be doing the lectures on Microsoft Teams during the regularly scheduled times. I'll also produce some YouTube videos, and um, I also have some pre-recorded videos that were recorded by the chair of the department for this class. So we're going to be using kind of a variety of modalities to deliver the material throughout the semester. But however, labs will still be face-to-face -face at the Rampart Range campus. And of course, I'll talk about that more in a bit. Also, um, this semester, you're going to be writing your labs, or sorry, you're going to be writing your exams online. And in order to do that, you have to have Respondus Lockdown Browser and Respondus Monitor installed on your computer. And the instructions for Respondus are found at the end of the syllabus. Now, if you're wondering what Respondus is, if you're new to it, it is a means of um, basically leveling the playing field and preventing students from cheating on their exams. And again, I'll talk more about that as we approach the first exam. Anyhow, here we have our course uh, general information. So here are the course dates. We meet from the 21st, not the 20th. Yesterday was the first day of the semester. Anyhow, and we're going to wrap up somewhere around the, the, the beginning of May, May 11th. Anyhow, we're going to be meeting on Microsoft Teams again on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 5 to 6.50 p.m. And um, I guess if you're on Microsoft Teams with me right now, you've obviously had no problem getting into that. Uh, our lab day is Tuesday. Now, the lab is from 7 to 9.45 p.m. And you probably notice there's a little bit of an issue here. And you might be thinking, well, come on, Mr. Dion, if you're lecturing on a Tuesday until 6.50 p.m., how am I supposed to get to the lab, you know, for my lab day, which is seven, you know, uh, I have to be there at 7 p.m. And the answer is on Tuesdays, I'm going to just simply have to end lecture early. So I usually end the lecture around 6 p.m. or sometime thereabouts, which gives everybody ample time to drive over to the Rampart Range campus so that we can meet for the labs. And we're going to meet in lab um, room W213. It's the chemistry lab in um, at the Rampart Range campus. Here's my information, my email, and my office hours. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be in an office a whole lot during the pandemic, but you can always reach me by email, and I do my best to respond to my students as soon as possible. So if you send me an email, be patient, but I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you really want to talk to me about a chemistry problem or something, you know, a question that you have about the course, what we'll do is we'll try to organize a time where we could meet over Microsoft Teams and discuss any issues that you might be having. All right, important dates. The drop date is February 4th, 2021. That is the date that you have to uh, remove yourself from the course by if you want to get a full refund. Okay, so if you wanted to get a full refund for whatever reason, you maybe, you know, you have too much going on or whatever. There's Avogadro's number of reasons why people drop a class, but that is the drop date. And then the withdrawal date is not until the 19th of April, and then of course we have spring break to look forward to in the spring semester. What are the course requirements? One of the major requirements for this class is going to be um, math, math 121 or equivalent level. There's a lot of math in general chemistry one, okay? There's a lot of algebra and I'm not gonna reteach algebra. So you need to be on point with your algebra skills. You're gonna need a textbook. The textbook that we use is um, the 13th edition of the textbook written by Raymond Chang is the principal author of that book. It's available. Um, you can probably get it in an ebook format or you can get it from the bookstore as well. If you're interested in doing both semesters of general chemistry, I just recommend buying the whole textbook. Now you might be wondering, what about the 12th edition or the 11th edition? Could I, could I buy that and use that? Well, I can tell you that on my desk right now, I have a copy of the 11th edition that I'm using. So. There's no reason why you cannot use an older edition of the textbook. You could use the 11th or the 12th if you could get that for a few dollars. Um, and the only caveat to that would be that when I 
post practice problems, the, the numbers wouldn't be exactly the same. Okay. But um, other than that, all the content is the same. In fact, that's one of the most beautiful things about chemistry is the content doesn't change. You know, your children, when they take chemistry, um, they're going to be learning the exact same things that you learn in 2021. And the atom isn't going to change. Electrons aren't going to change. All right. The inquiry lab manual is written by the chair of the department. And so that is available free of charge on D2L. And I'll show you where that is. It's under the content tab on D2L. You're also going to need a lab notebook. You can purchase those at the bookstore. And I'll talk more about that when we're in the lab, but you need a spiral, a binding spiral notebook with carbonless copies, a scientific calculator. I recommend a non-programmable scientific calculator. Um, here it says TI-84, but um, any good scientific calculator, I mean, I have a bunch of them, but um, yeah, any, any run-of-the-mill scientific calculator will do everything that you needed to do. Also, especially during the pandemic, you know, you need to have a reliable internet connection for coming to class and for writing your exams. Now, I would tell a student, you know, if your internet connection is a little dicey at your home and, you know, it cuts in and out sometimes, I would say that's not a big deal for attending class and doing homework and, and um, uh, you know, things, things of that ilk. However, for exams, if you are, if you don't trust your internet, then I would recommend writing your exams at the college. And I have a list of computers at the college that you can go to that have Respondus Lockdown Browser and Respondus Monitor um, already installed on them. Now, the thing about the course structure, how to be successful in exam conduct policy and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to leave you to, to read that yourself. And of course, lab behavior, we'll talk about that more in the lab. But what I would recommend in this class, you know, if you want to be successful in general chemistry, I've taught general chemistry for a long time. So I think I have a good idea of what it takes to be successful. And I can tell you right now that before coming to every lecture, the best thing you could do is to read the chapter before coming to the class. That's going to help you the most. If you just come to the lecture and listen to me, I mean, I was a student for a long time. It's really difficult to learn something just by hearing a professor you know, talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. It's better if you read it first so that you have a basic idea of what's going on. And then the instructor or professor can reinforce, you know, your understanding or fill in any blanks that you might be, um, that you might have with respect to the material. All right. Another thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the practice problems. Now, I've gone through our textbook, the 13th edition, and I have handpicked problems from there and I've actually worked the solutions to most of them myself and posted those solutions to D2L. Okay, so you don't have to purchase a solutions manual. If you have the textbook, I've posted the solutions for you. That is probably your best, you know, key or best pathway towards success is to practice, practice, practice and make sure you understand, understand what, you're, what doing. you're doing. All right. All right. If you have it's your in, micro sorry, if sorry, you have your microphone, microphone on, on, if you could turn it off. Turn it on. Hello? Okay, good. All right. Anyhow, attendance. I'm going to take attendance every day. Um, another thing about the lab, I mean, again, we'll talk more about the lab when we get there, but um, students are going to work individually in the lab. So you do not work in pairs in the lab whatsoever. You don't submit your lab as with a partner or something. You do all the work in the lab by yourself. Okay. And the reason why is, well, it's always been that way in this class, but of course you can imagine that we split up the labs in order to maintain proper social distancing. Anyhow, um, most of the exams in this class cover two chapters. The final exam will cover the entire Chemistry 111 class. Homework assignments are posted under the quizzes tab, which might seem kind of funny to you. Like, why, why do you post homework under something that says quizzes, Mr. Dion? Well, the reason why is because that's just the label of the tab in D2L, so there's nothing I can do to change that. All right. Um, also, just about attendance, you know, this is just kind of an FYI. Um, I don't deduct any points for you missing classes. However, in my experience, your performance will decline if you are constantly absent from class. Even in the remote uh, environment, I think it's still best if you show up to the live lecture. It's really helpful. All right, there we go. No late assignments or labs are going to be accepted. No makeup exams. You just have to do the work and get through it like everybody else. Okay. Um, as far as your exams go, you write five exams. I will take your best four. 
and that will make up 50% of the weight of the course. Labs make up 20%. You have a lab practical, which is kind of like a lab exam. That makes up 5%. You have your homework, which again is under the quizzes tab. That makes up 10%. And the final exam is worth a total of 15% of your grade. Here's the grading scale at PPCC. And here we go. This is one of the most important pages of this syllabus and schedule because this is our lecture schedule. I highly recommend printing this page and the next page, printing them somewhere and putting them, you're printing them and putting them somewhere important, like maybe the inside windshield, uh, you know, inside of the windshield of your car or maybe a bathroom mirror or some, some place that you always know what we're doing and when so that you will not have any questions. What are we doing on February 9th, Mr. Dion? Well, we're going to be looking at mass relationships and chemical reactions, right? You will always be cognizant of what we are going to be doing. And you can see you have your first exam coming up on February 2nd. So something to look forward to already. You also see that you have a safety quiz that's going to be um, due very soon. And that safety quiz is for the lab. And it's not meant to be a difficult quiz. It's just um, so that we know that you've looked over the safety rules before coming to the lab. Anyhow, so there's our schedule um, for the lecture. This is our lab schedule. If you're wondering which group you're in, are you in group A or group B? I haven't completely divided the groups up yet. If you have a preference for what, I should correct it. If you have a strong preference for one over the other, can you please let me know? Otherwise, I normally just divide it by the alphabet. So if you're in the first half of the alphabet or the first half of the alphabet, according to the surnames in the, la in the class, you're in group A. And if you're in the last half or the second half, then you'll be in group B. So you can see that we actually do a little less labs than usual on account of the pandemic. But let's say, you know, your last name began with the letter A. Well, then for sure you're going to be in, in group A. And that means that on, on, um, on Tuesday, January 26th, you, you'd meet um, me in the lab and we would go over the first day lab tasks and do a drawer check-in and cover safety rules and things of that ilk. All right, there we go. Um, the lab, again, I'm going to talk to you about the lab in the lab, I'll go over all the requirements for lab guidelines and lab safety with you and lab reports because there's a lot of information. The lab is um, quite a bit of work in this class. So instead of you know giving you all the details about that this evening, I will be sure to do that with you in the lab. So come prepared, okay? So come prepared to listen next Tuesday or the following Tuesday, depending on which group you are in. All right, um, and then the re rest of the Syllabus here is just different things that you can read and make sure that you do. And then the very last part of the syllabus has the um, instructions for Respondus Lockdown Browser and Respondus Monitor, which you will require for your first exam. Now, something I have done is um, if you're, you know, thinking about the first exam with fear and trepidation, wondering, oh, I've never used Lockdown Browser. Am I, you know, is my computer going to blow up if I try it? For my first exam and everything's going to be ruined well i'll i will prepare a practice exam well, actually i've already prepared it and that practice exam will also require respondus lockdown browser and so when you go into the actual exam you will have a had, had a chance to try a practice exam where you used respondus lockdown browser and respondus monitor so it won't be anything new to you all right if i only had 20 seconds to share the syllabus and schedule with you Again, I would go back to this part and I would say, be sure to print out the schedule and be sure to print out the lab schedule so that you always know what you are doing and when. Well, let's take, um, let's switch gears for a second and let's look at our classes D2L page. Um, I think that most of the people who are hearing the sound of my voice have logged in at this point. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, yeah, I think that most people in the class have logged in at this point. Um, this is the instructor view. So when you log in, it won't look exactly like this because I'm logged in as an instructor and you're going to log in as a student. But you will see something that looks almost exactly like this. So the first thing you notice is I have some announcements. Now, I hope that you've all taken the time to read the announcement um, where I provide the link for the, the inquiry lab manual, the syllabus and schedule, the link for the suggested practice problems. I also put them down here as well okay anyhow so anything that's important that everybody in the class needs to know i am going to post it in announcements i'm a real twitter hound i probably check twitter i don't know 20 times a day just to see what's going on in the world so if i can check twitter 
20 times a day, the least you can do is protect your investment in this class and check the announcements. I would check it at least once a day, if not a couple times a day, just to, just to see what's going on. If you look at the top icons, you'll see there's a content icon. Underneath the content icon, this is where we have just about everything, okay? If we look at the, the first um, sort of module under the table of contents, we've got the syllabus and schedule. I've got a periodic table there. Then if you want to know where to get the lecture slides, they're all in here. Every single chapter is in there. Um, and then the practice problems. Here are the, the suggested practice problems for Chemistry 111 for our textbook. And then if you want the solution, say you start working the practice problems for chapter one. Well, here you go. Here are the solutions to those suggested practice problems. You open it up and then you can see some of them I... Some of them are typed and then some of them are done by hand. But anyhow, all the solutions are there. So not just the answers, but the solutions to them. Another thing I'll draw your attention to is that, again, I am going to do my best to post the recordings of all of our lectures to my YouTube channel. I have done it since the pandemic. However, um, I'll also put this bug in your ear that there are some slides here. It says here, Chem 111 recorded lecture slides. The recording will obviously, when you hear it, you'll know it's not me, okay? It's a lady's voice. It is Dr. Garcia, um, who is one of the um, uh, chairs of the Department of Chemistry Department at PPCC, and she recorded the first three chapters or the first two chapters, and she probably recorded others that I'll upload. But if you want to listen to her lecture, be my guest. You know, you could open these and you could get way ahead tonight if you're like, oh, yeah, after class tonight, you're just like, you know what, I can't sleep without learning more chemistry. Well, here you go. It's all recorded in there. Um, the lab manual, again, I told you it's free. It says here, inquiry lab manual, chemistry 111, spring 2021, COVID, anyhow. So that's the lab manual. It's totally free of charge to you. Under the lab tab, there's a whole bunch of different things in there that we'll worry about later. Um, what else? The suggested practice problems. What else is in your post lab questions? All kinds of different things in here. There's some things that are hidden, of course, that are, you know, just for me. Anyhow, so that's under the content folder. Now, if you look under the um, under the quizzes tab, so let's go under quizzes, and you can see the safety quiz on there. Let it be known, hear ye, hear ye. All of you need to complete this safety quiz by February 8th. Okay, so everybody who's hearing the sound of my voice needs to complete this quiz by February 8th. And in order for you to complete the quiz, you have to go through all the lab safety content that is found under the content tab, okay? Also, you see that homework one and homework two are, are, are available to you. I wouldn't recommend starting them right away. I would do some practice problems first, but you can see the due dates for those. So the due dates for any homework or exam or practice exam, they're all found under the quizzes tab, okay? All right, what else is in here? Let's see, I, I guess that's really all we need to worry about for now to kind of get the ball rolling in the class, so to speak. All right, let me go back to the class here. And um, uh, there we go. And let me just... <clears throat> 